Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and in today's video, I want to share with you guys a makeup setting spray. I don't really use a lot of makeup setting sprays so I don't really have a lot of opinions when it comes to makeup setting sprays because I don't really use it on a daily basis. I rarely reach for a makeup setting spray. I only have two setting sprays. So this one is from Miniso. This one, this is the Spray Fixation Makeup Setting Spray with a matte finish. So I have that and I also have the one from L'Oreal. This one feels like a hairspray and if it gets on your body, your body gets sticky. So I guess that's one of the things that I don't like about this. That's why I don't really use this a lot. But when it comes to like keeping your makeup in place, making your makeup last long, I think this one works. I just don't like how it feels when um, it gets all over your skin. Hold on, I'm just gonna wear my earrings because I feel like I'm so bare. By the way, this product is extremely cheap. Like, it was already cheap, but it was also on sale, so it got even more cheaper. This is from the brand Le Fusha. This is the brand Le Fusha, and uh, I have no idea why it's it says here. What's that? Uh, it says here, Star Glitter Quick Sand Setting Spray. Quick Sand. Can someone explain to me why there's quicksand there? The reason why I got this is because the setting spray has shimmers and it says 8 hours wear. I'm trying not to believe that. I don't know if it's going to make your makeup stay for 8 hours, especially with the humid weather here in the Philippines. But I already have most of my makeup on. I have like very lightweight foundation on. I don't have powder yet, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup first. I don't have powder and blush yet, so I'm going to do that. I currently don't have a favorite face powder. I just kick this randomly. Set my face using this MAC and the loose powder. I am not a frequent user of setting sprays. That's why I don't really have a lot of opinion about it. A setting spray for me, it's just to like set my makeup. I'm not really going to use a setting spray to make my makeup last long. I'm going to use it mostly for the reason that I want to, this powder to melt into my skin using a setting spray like this one. So sometimes when you apply powder, you can see it sitting on top of your skin and does not what I want. Especially here in the Philippines, if you wait a little bit more, you don't even need a setting spray. It's going to melt into your skin already, but if you want to make your makeup look more like skin-like. Is a setting spray very necessary for me? I'm not yet sure. I'm still gonna test this out. I am going to contour my nose if I can find my contour palette, which is gone. For my contour, I will use this one that I got from Shein. I am so 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 impressed with that brand they have almost everything if you are going to attend a wedding if you have an event to go to just go to Shein if they have a dress code they have like a yellow theme pink theme you can find all colors of outfits from Shein just a light contour for the nose and then I'm gonna apply blush for my blush I'm gonna use this one it's like an apricot shade Okay, it's too bright, I think. Apply some on my face. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like my skin looks so much better if I don't have a lot of foundation on. Like, it's still a full face of makeup. I have a lot of eyeshadow on. Like, I have this really massive lashes on. It's a heavy eye makeup, but then the base, the foundation is just very light. I didn't apply a lot of foundation on my forehead. I think I didn't apply any on my forehead. I just focused the tinted moisturizer like right here and then blended it out and sometimes when I'm filming I'm like my initial thought is to apply thick base on my face like thick foundation and concealer and I always end up looking like it immediately adds age to my face because it's just too heavy feels uncomfortable my skin can't breathe but right now my skin feels and looks way more youthful so that's my foundation i'm gonna give you guys a close-up first before we use this one this one has shimmers in it hopefully you guys can see i am gonna zoom in for you guys i don't know if you're gonna be able to see the shimmers can you guys see all right so this is my skin close up I really like my skin when there's not, not a lot of like thick foundation going on, but yeah. 
So here's my skin. I have highlight here from earlier, but um, it's matte right now. We will see how this spray will look. And I might have to do this close up. It doesn't say much here. It says here containing niacinamide that the texturize mode. Guys, please help me read that because it really doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. Containing niacinamide, the textures more most and that I gave up. Okay, here we go. I am going to spray it on my face. Wait, I give it a little shake. I think I'm gonna spray it on this side first. Okay, that smells like a really light baby cologne. It smells really nice. I don't want to open my eyes yet because um, it might get inside my eyes. I have contacts on. So my one of my worries when I spray um, setting spray like this is um, it might get inside my eyes and also it might disturb the eyeshadow that I worked on. I work really hard on. And um, if there's any like makeup tool that will cover your eye makeup while you like spray your face and it's gonna protect your um, eyeshadow from getting smudged, then I would definitely purchase that. I'm gonna wait for this to dry. I can still feel that it's wet, but I really like the mist in this one. Like it doesn't feel like it's slapping me or anything like that. It's not like a heavy spray. The mist is actually very fine. I don't know, do you guys see anything special? It is still wet right now. I will be right back. I'm just gonna let this dry. All right, I'm back and it's been like a minute only. I just tried to finish my black tea. But um, I am trying to see a difference here there's definitely like gold specks of glitter here it's not really like glitter but it's more on like shimmer mica if you know mica the one they put in eyeshadows i can see a lot of it on my face nothing noticeable if you are just looking from far away like even if you look really really close you won't see it but uh i mean i can see it because i'm super near the mirror right now but i think that's supposed to like add glow to your face and i hope i can show you guys I'll try to like go really close. I don't know if you guys can see like the gold shimmers there. If you're someone who loves like a little bit of glow, then you're gonna love this. There's like shimmer there, nothing to exaggerate it. Now I'm going to spray half of my face. So this side is matte, like completely matte, no shimmers at all. And this is the side with the setting spray. And after the setting spray right on my face, it already feels matte like I can even feel the powder that I applied earlier um uh honestly okay I I can see right now that this side without the setting spray looks more cakey than this side of course it already melted the powder on this side like it already uh, made the powder adhere to my skin it tried to melt the, all the powder products into one but this side, you can still see the powders. This is nice if you want to like just melt all your makeup together, but at the same time, it will give you that like really nice subtle glow. So I'm gonna spray this side as well. I don't know how I'm gonna do this without ruining my... Should I do this? Or should I... Okay, I'm just gonna do this, I think. And I also have lashes on and I don't want the glue to like come off. I really like the scent of this. This one looks like uh, sometimes they label this as a like, galaxy setting spray because it has all these shimmers. Um, when I am looking at this in front of a bright light, it looks purple but if I am going to take that away from the bright light it's like gold shimmers it's very interesting right now it's 8 p.m i'm gonna go back to give you guys an update so we will see after an hour how my skin will look and we will see how this will hold my makeup yeah so this is how my skin looks now still intact 
Um, since I already used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set, I can already compare the two. If you're gonna ask me which one I like more, I'll probably say this one because it feels more lightweight than this one. Like I said, once you spray this on your face, it really feels like as if you sprayed hairspray on your face and on your body. It feels very, very sticky on your arms and even on your hair. It's just so uncomfortable. Plus, the scent, it smells very strong. Um, I don't like the scent. This one smells like a baby cologne but like more subtle only. I don't know what's in this since I can't really see the ingredients here. If I'm gonna spray my face with water, like just plain water, I don't know if it's gonna give me the same effect. I don't know what's in this that's gonna make my makeup long lasting. But as I'm saying that, I just saw here watery makeup focus. Watery makeup, silver shine, um, ambilite ejection. Moisturizing, luster, beautiful makeup. So many unnecessary things in the description here that I don't... 8 p.m. I will check with you guys in an hour. Alright, so it's been two hours and this is how my makeup looks like. I did not retouch. It's been two, almost three hours. And I was like reviewing another product. I did not apply anything else on my face. But I was reviewing a glitter glue which is... Um, I've had this for a long time already. And that's what I use for my glitter glue. But I'm going to talk about that in a different video. Guys, this setting spray, um, this is how it looks if you don't touch it for a while. The... What do you call this? The shimmer goes down when you shake it. The shimmers will mix again in the water and you will see. It looks so beautiful, you guys. I'm gonna look at my face right now. So, about the longevity of my makeup, I'm not really sure about that. My skin still looks good and it doesn't feel oily. Normally, after two hours, it would feel more oily on my nose and on my cheeks. But I feel like it has a little bit of effect with the longevity of this makeup because usually after two to three hours my makeup like my cheeks would feel oily already and even on my nose but other than that it really made my foundation and my base makeup look like skin like just made my makeup look so natural and I can say after two to three hours my makeup still looks good especially the foundation it did not melt or anything i was doing a lot of things usually i would have retouched by now but i don't think i have to what do you guys think like it still looks fresh like it looks glowy but it's not oily you know what i mean so i like it i like how it makes my skin feel i like how it sets my foundation so i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep using this and it's super affordable so like i said many times i haven't tried a lot of brands but if you guys know any other brand that is affordable let me know and i'll definitely review that here in my channel i feel like there's really no need to spend a whole lot on makeup unless it's foundation and concealer those are the two products that you need to spend a little bit more money on just because i've never had any luck with um affordable foundations um by affordable i mean like chinese brands from shopee and lazada although you can find a lot of good drugstore foundations from maybelline covergirl especially l'oreal and uh, yeah those brands you know i haven't tried mac fix plus i haven't tried the urban decay all-nighter spray i haven't tried those so i can't compare but i'm actually satisfied with how my skin looks so, so i would say i would give this product for now 10 out of 10 um, that might change if I try those more high-end brands, but for now, I really like it. I mean, just look at look at my skin. What do you guys see? If you like it, go ahead and purchase. The link will be in the description box down below for you guys. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video and I'll see you guys again next time.